Hello, Starseeds. Happy Friday. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a great and wonderful day or night wherever you are. I have another message for us from God, so let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit and we will get started. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you. You are welcome, sweet divine Holy Spirit. We thank you for covering us with your blood. Let no evil come near us in our dwelling, giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love and kindness. We thank you, Lord God, for forgiving us of all of our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. We give your name praise, glory, honor, and reverence. You're holy, you're wonderful, you're great, you're magnificent. You are the King of kings, you are the Lord of lords, you are the great I am. You are the lily of the valley, you are Emmanuel, God with us. We welcome your sweet holy presence. You are welcome, God, you're sovereign. You are faithful, you are consistent. Thank you, Lord, for all your love and your kindness and your mercy and your grace. Your amazing grace, God, we thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your people, to encourage and to uplift their hearts, to let them know what is currently going on, what they need to know, and what they need to see. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much, Star Seeds, for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really, really, really appreciate you all very much. Thank you so much for your kindness and your support. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad to have you here, a part of our Starseed tribe and community. And if you are returning, welcome back. So glad to have you back. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right, Starseed. So let us go ahead and get into this message. Um, somebody's... Um, Twin flame soulmate person is um, finding out that their friends were really their enemy the whole time. That this these this person or these people were a frenemy to them. So at this time, a lot of towers are falling, a lot of upheaval, um, shocking news sudden change in drama, fighting and arguing, um, a lot of tension. All of that is going on right now um, because these divine partners are finding out that they're friends, that they trusted and, you know, thought that they were loyal to them and was, you know, supporting them. They're finding out that they were their enemy the whole time. And um, they are the ones that kept them from you, kept them from a divine union, a fated meeting, something that was their destiny, meant to be, and predestined. So they trusted these um, frenemies over you when you were trying to tell them that they had hidden agendas and hidden motives, that they could not be trusted. And they did not, these divine partners did not believe you because they were um, not following their intuition or their intuition was blocked, not having the gift of discernment or the proper use of discernment. So they could not see Past, um, you know, in the spirit realm concerning these frenemies, they were just taking them at face value, only what they were showing them at that time. So these divine partners are finding out that it was these frenemies that kept them stagnant, that they did not want things to end with them. They wanted to keep this person in constant in a constant mind battle, um, not being able to um, rest in their mind, not able to, not being able to make a solid 
intelligent decision for themselves. They wanted them to be in constant confusion and unstable in their mindset. They wanted to cause them stagnation, delays, and decay. They did not want them to change. They wanted them to keep operating in the same toxic patterns to conform to them how they were. These divine partners are finding out that these um, frenemies wanted them to um, confirm to the type of people that they are. They um, pretend that they are friends that help each other, that helps people. But these divine partners are finding out that they had a hidden agenda and a hidden motive the whole time. That's how they lured these divine partners in, thinking that they were um, good friends. They were trying to support them and to help them. But in all actuality, they were trying to destroy this person behind the scenes without them ever finding out about it. So a lot of shiggity has hit the fan and a lot of truth has come out about what really um, took place and what these frenemies were really up to. So um, for some of you all, these divine partners was dating this actual frenemy at one time, at some point, um, when you were not with them. And then they told this frenemy that they did not want to date them anymore, that they wanted to get back in a relationship with you. And so this frenemy acted like that they were cool with it and they would just be friends and they were safe to, to trust. And they both would, you know, go their separate ways when it comes to the relationship, relations type of energy. But they were still cool with them. But they're finding out that this person was lying and this person was enraged at the divine partner, um, breaking it off with them to, to get back in a relationship with you. And that they were after revenge to destroy this person's um, divine union, but was acting like they was all for and supporting whatever um, decisions that they wanted to make. So this is why a lot of your divine partners felt like it was safe to um, move in with these um, frenemies for support, you know, for living support, for financial support and help. But now um, they are finding out the truth that this person was actually their enemy and your enemy as well, an enemy to your divine union and took some drastic extreme measures to separate and divide and block and stop this divine union. And this is something that you tried to tell your divine partner, um, because, but they did not believe you. They believed these frenemies over you. But these people were working day and night, working hard behind the scenes, doing all types of mental magic, mirror magic, um, black magic, and everything to... Um, destroy this divine union they were able to get this divine partner because they operated in low vibrational energy they didn't want to change they didn't want to um you know change from their toxic ways and addictions so it was easy to lure them in and to to control them like a puppet with magic and so the divine partner is finding out and they're very shocked um because they really thought that these people were genuine, true people to them that loved them and supported them and that they, they could trust them. But they're finding out that these frenemies were snakes. 
that was only charming them and using them. And that this is somebody that they should have ran from. But they were only um, able to get this divine partner because they were a runner. They were fear, feared intimacy. They were dealing with inner turmoil. And so now this has caused a tragic ending between these um, frenemies. They're finding out that um, that they were stalking you online. They have found pictures of people um, using pictures to try to do witchcraft on you. Um, receipts, they have found a lot of evidence and pictures. And um, so this divine, <clears throat> these divine partners, they are um, devastated at this time that they did all of this foolishness to you behind the scenes. And you were a sweetheart to them. You were being faithful to them. You were devoted to them and being very dedicated. With you, they would have had stability, passion, insane chemistry. Um, burning desires, you know, a union, a marriage, and blessings overflowing. But they um, overwrought, didn't um, listen to their intuition, and um, just still wanted to live in that lustful um, lifestyle, didn't want to be a leader, didn't want to change in their actions, wanted to explore, explore their many options. And so now they're finding out everything that took place, the truth of the matter. Um, these frenemies were, um, were scandalous. They was gossiping about you. And now they're all arguing and fighting. There's a lot of turmoil and choice words being said, disagreements, arguments over the magic that was being done over this divine union. And they were thinking that they could, um, if they kept this divine partner operating in low vibrational energy, that they can steal your divine inheritance. And they was working hard, hard behind the scenes trying to cause this imbalance so that they can receive an offer so that they can receive your divine inheritance, not understanding that the divine inheritance lies with the person who is operating in high vibrational energy and is operating in their life purpose in their right path and being obedient to God. That is the divine partner that the riches and the wealth, the health, the balance, the peace, the stability, the harmony, the possibilities, the open doors, the keys to the kingdom. That's the person that all of those blessings from God lies with. So they were missing a major mission, a major missing piece in all of this, these um, karmic attachments and frenemies. And so now this person has um, is antisocial um, towards these frenemies. Um, they have found out everything that they did behind the scenes to, to stop and block them, to steal from them, to steal their inheritance, steal their blessings. And now they're being antisocial and turning their backs on these group of people, which could be family members and friends. Their enemies and snakes. And this person has made a choice to walk away and move forward. But they are in their feelings deep and heavily um, and very disappointed that 
they allow these people to love bomb them, to love bomb their true love. And true love don't come around that often. Good people with good intentions is rare these days. And they know that they forfeited their blessing and threw their blessing away listen to, listening to outsiders, which was very childish anyway, because if you're in a relationship with somebody, you should be giving your partner the benefit of the doubt before believing others. And you should be praying about what everybody is saying so you can get the truth from God of who is telling the truth. And this person, this divine partner, they were sharing a lot of your personal business with these frenemies. So this is how they knew exactly what to um, say to turn your divine partner against you and what type of magic that they needed to do on your divine partner to keep them in the dark and keep them blinded, to keep controlling them like a puppet and also to destroy your divine union. So you can't have everybody in your business when you um in a relationship. Your business should between be between you and that person only. You, them, and God. Put God first. <clears throat> and these um snakes and enemies won't be able to get over on you. So now this divine partner has found the strength to walk away. And it's um it's divine timing. For all of this to be um, revealed and unveiled. And so your divine partners, they are dealing with a lot of stress right now and anxiety. Um, They're having to take a look at themselves. The universe is making them look at themselves and take accountability for their actions that they were not trying to take accountability for before. And so it's making them look at their patterns in their ways, their routines and their patterns is causing them to question it because that is what caused this whole big mess because they were not um, awakened and didn't recognize who they really are and who you are and what your relationship stood for and what it meant for them and for you. And so they're stressing at this time and kicking themselves like, how did they miss this? How did they um did not see that this karmic energy, this these frenemies were so obsessed with you. They was constantly talking about you, constantly couldn't keep your name out of their mouth but your divine partner could not see the obsession this crazy like sociopath type obsession that these frenemies had with you and causing a lot of obstacles in their relationship but they invited these enemies and these snakes in because they told them your personal business And this is what caused these frenemies to over abuse their power to cause blockages and delays in this in this divine union. So they they told this person any and everything to to stop them from coming back towards you. Every time they were thinking in their mind and in their heart. Because they've been missing you and loving you the whole time. But trying to please these frenemies. Because they were supporting them either financially or giving them a place to live. So they wouldn't have to pay full rent or full mortgage. So they were hiding their true feelings from these frenemies just to stay on their good side. And so every time... They were going to um, readers and getting readings to try to figure out your divine partner's next move or your next move. So every time they were told that this person was heavily, you know, still thinking about you and loving you and wanted to come and talk to you 
and meet up with you, then they would go and do some more magic to to delay them from coming towards you, which is crazy. So, so that today they are really feeling it. They are really in their feelings, um, beating, you know, kicking themselves that they didn't see what was going on with these frenemies and they didn't believe you when you were trying to tell them and they have missed an opportunity with you. A lot of, a lot of them have missed an opportunity with you and forfeited their blessing because they threw it away. And if they would have came together with you and, you know, decided to live with you, they would have been tremendously blessed because you were the person that they were destined and God predestined, preordained for them, for them to be with. So your household would have been blessed and overflowing with blessings if they would have just trusted in you, believed in you, but they didn't believe in you. And now they're kicking themselves because they didn't see this. They didn't see all of this going on right under their nose. These people were playing right in his his or her face, but they couldn't see it, didn't see it. And so this person is, um, these divine partners, they're, they're learning a huge, major life lesson. And this situation has totally, completely woke them up. They are awake now. Lazarus has arisen. So... So God's um, advice to you all, starseeds, concerning these divine partners is to make sure you protect your energy because you have a lot of um, possibilities and opportunities open for you at this time. You did the work. You um, reached your achievable point, your success point, and you have been given the keys to the kingdom. You have um, gone from the pit to the palace. And so God is saying that you are stable. You are anchored in the Lord. And um, all his promises are true and sure to you. And he wants you all to have some fun. Because you deserve it. You have been through a lot dealing with this situation. With these karmics and these divine partners. It has been a lot and so God wants you you all to not focus on that or them to protect your energy and stay focused on all of your possibilities and opportunities and the keys that he's given you to open unlock doors that were closed to you before that you are very stable you're anchored in the Lord you are not wanting for nothing you are Pretty much in your operating in your promised land at this time. Peace of mind, peace in your spirit, peace in your home, harmony, balance. You are overflowing with blessings. You're receiving sudden wealth and um, unexpected income. And he is blessing your socks off at this time. And he wants you all to have some fun and enjoy your life. You deserve it. Because there has been a period in your life that you had to go through all of this stuff, you know, with this situation and you didn't, you wasn't having no fun. You didn't have any peace. Um, you just, you know, going through a lot of spiritual warfare. So God is saying that is behind you. That is water under the bridge. Enjoy your life. Have you some fun. Operate in your purpose. Complete your divine mission and keep moving forward. All right, Starseeds, so that is the message. Um, Make sure you all check out the um, guardian angels that are protecting us this week. Um, You can get a lot of information and insight of what's going on, what what is um, happening, what's being shifted and changed in the atmosphere. And um, I'll be back on Sunday with the other, with the guardian angels that will be protecting us next week. So go ahead and um, take a look at that um, video if you have not already. All right. 
I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourself and others right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.